I've uh, put a little uh, shelf on this backboard. Um, sorry it's so blooming awful but the uh, camera just won't cope with the, uh, the bright sunlight outside. Uh, I'm dealing with the focus by uh, I've actually got a piece of string that's uh, at the right length because I, I just can't see the back of the uh, camera very clearly at all. Um, but anyway, I've put this little shelf uh, on and put the clock mechanism on the shelf and uh, I'll, uh, I'll get in close and show you what's happening. So there's our um, pendulum fixing there. I've uh, got this little bit of wire that's uh, fixed on the pendulum uh, just to act as a, a paw. Um, uh, oh, I've got a bit of uh, capped on there, uh, so that's a bit of plastic just to act as a ratchet and that's held in place with a bit of sellotape. And then uh, this is the uh, uh, the shelf that the clock's sitting on, the mechanism sitting on there and that's held in place with the G clamp. So there's nothing actually holding the clock in place. I just check my focus, focal length, you know, that should be in focus. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just give the pendulum uh, a little uh, kick start. So, oh, too, too much, too aggressive. Okay, that's too big, a, too big a swing. Sorry about that, guys. Right, that's more like it. Hang on. Sorry, I. Right, I'll try again. I'll just give it a, a little. All right, that's it. So each successive swing, uh, the paw just goes forward and grabs another tool and pulls it uh, around. It's doing that every two seconds. So it'll pull that uh, little wheel round once a minute. Uh, just give it a bit more energy, just give it a tap. Oop, tapped it at the wrong time. So uh, you can get the notion from that. Um, I say this isn't fixed, so uh, as I move this, so uh, uh, it affects things. Um, so I've got to decide on the uh, the best place to actually uh, fix the clock. I mean, I'll show you, if, I, if that's not connected, look, see what happens. Yeah, that, that gear will just... Uh, let me. Uh, I'll give it a good old, a good uh, get it swinging. You see, it'll it'll push the mechanism backwards and forwards because it's so free running. So I've got to get it, everything in the right place, but uh, um, and I won't be doing it with just a bit of uh, uh, old copper wire. But I just wanted to show you. Uh, this is where I'm going. Oh, and you can probably hear that uh, uh, this fella's still running. I, I hadn't got the heart to switch it off last night. But uh, it's getting to the stage where I'll be taking that coil soon. Having seen a, a close-up of this uh, two-second tooth uh, wheel, uh, I can see there uh, uh, not, not very beautiful but they're perfectly adequate um, but uh, I may revisit them but remember they've they've just been hacked out by hand and uh, marked out with a protractor uh, very roughly uh, literally on the kitchen table um, so uh, say so forgive me for that but you can see that it uh, it functions and um, it's it's not rocket science Okay, and that's just uh, the natural swing of the pendulum. That hasn't got the uh, the hips movement or the drive uh, mechanism at all. So uh, uh, that's looking very hopeful. Um, it's looking very good.
Okay, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for all the positive feedback guys, I appreciate that. Bye-bye. Um,